The influenza season is upon us, resulting in many people feeling unwell. In light of this, Secretary of the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection, Dr. Faith B. Israel, shared some information about influenza and what to expect for the season. Here's more. Dr. Faith B. Israel noted that Trinidad and Tobago, like the rest of the world, is experiencing the close circulation of COVID-19, influenza, and other respiratory pathogens. This has caused an increase in the number of people with respiratory infections. It's strange though, because October to May every year is classified as a flu season, uh, where we see individuals with flu-like symptoms, which includes runny nose, cough, fever, uh, muscular, and body pains. This reflects what Minister of Health Teres Dial Singh said recently at the Diwali Nagar site for mass vaccination. Dr. B. Israel noted that only four cases of COVID-19 had been detected on the island from the period December 2023 to January 2024. There were no deaths or hospitalizations related to the virus. However, she acknowledged that these are just the reported cases. She noted, however, that there have been some serious cases of influenza and respiratory infections which have resulted in hospitalizations. Um, we are seeing them in both adults and children. Uh, again, these are non-COVID related respiratory infections. Furthermore, she said that there are two recorded cases of influenza so far during the flu season and a host of other respiratory pathogens such as respiratory syncytial virus infection, rhinovirus, human metanoma virus, and many others. Dr. B. Israel stressed prevention such as washing hands, covering coughs, social distancing, wearing masks, and isolating. She encouraged people to get their flu vaccines available at the various health facilities across the island. Ariana Sipio, Tobago Updates Television News.